Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today we are going to learn about how to schedule jobs in UiPath Orchestrator. So this is our one of the important features of UiPath Orchestrator. We will learn how to schedule jobs in UiPath Orchestrator. How to schedule to not to run process on holidays like non-working days. We will see our agenda. How to schedule a job from UiPath Orchestrator, how to trigger a process on a specific date and time, how to manage schedules in UiPath Orchestrator, what are the options available to trigger the process, how to schedule jobs to not to run on, on holidays or non-working days, where can we check whether a job was scheduled or manually started and the last cron expression so how to use and when to use and what is the use of cron expression so today i'm going to show you practically i will show you how to create a schedule how to schedule a job from the ui path orchestrator so before that i will show you what are the options available to trigger the process so there are two way to trigger a job in ui path first start the jobs manually by going to the jobs page or run the process from UiPath robot like you know that we can start the job we can start the process we can execute the process from the jobs page in UiPath orchestrator or if you have published the project in UiPath orchestrator then you can run the process from the UiPath robot from the job you can run the process you can start here and we can you can select the process and run the process also and if you have the ui path robot so you can open this directly and if it is connected then you can run from here so let me connect first so that i can show you how to schedule a job so currently it is available it means that is connected so from here you can start the job you can run execute the process uh, let's suppose if you are going for the interview and they ask question like what are the options available to trigger the process so you can tell them that first there are two way to trigger a job in ui path there are two way to two ways to trigger a process in ui path orchestrator first start the job manually by going to the jobs page or run the process from the UI path robot or second you can schedule a job on a specific date and time by going to the schedule page so there these are the two ways and from here you can go to the plus add here and you can add a schedule here we are getting schedule you can put the name of schedule like so let's suppose you have created this for the daily project something or you can write in between any type of like project so that you can understand this project is for this one and this will run on daily basis so you can write here and from here you can select the process which you want to run you want to execute on the specific date and a specific time so from here you let me select anything like i have selected the process that is write to notepad and now here we are getting the time zone so if you select the time zone so based on that time zone your process will execute so from here you can just type your area like a city like kolkata so our time zone is chennai kolkata mumbai new delhi so you can you can search the name from here and you can select here we are getting the trigger section we have the three section here first i am going to tell you about the trigger so here we are getting first apply non working days restriction so i will tell you about this one later it is showing there are lots of options to trigger the schedule first minutes second hourly third daily fourth weekly and fifth monthly and here is advance so first the minutes is it means once we'll select here one it means the every minutes each minutes it will your process will execute and your schedule will start the jobs so let's suppose you will select the one and you just have to click on create so once we'll cre create this it will show your this project this pro process will be executed on 
every minute so you can see here this process has has been executed now once we'll wait for one more minute so again this process will execute because because every minute this process will execute let's wait for one minute the next run time you can see here a few second ago and the stop after zero seconds so this has been executed so and from here you can manage the schedules like you, you can edit you can enable disable remove it means schedule can be disabled or enabled anytime if it is not required you can remove it also you can remove from here you can disable this one you can so once will you will disable this your process will not be executed and this schedule will not work so next time if you require to enable this one you can enable this anytime yeah, by just clicking on this enable button or if it is not required anymore then you can just click on remove and remove the schedule now again you can create here the multiple schedule as per your requirement as per like uh, the process again I'm going to write here the name something like uh, this could be like daily project or anything you can write here I'm going to select the process and the time zone and from here we are getting the hourly daily so we have the lots of options you can select here if we have the daily it means if you want to run this process daily on the specific time then you can just select the daily and if you want to run the process on daily 850 let's suppose currently the time is 849 43 seconds so if you want to run your project on daily basis 850 pm so you have to write the 20 hours and here 50 and now just click on create so after few seconds your process will be executed okay so on this time our process has been executed because we scheduled this process to run on this time so what will happen then again next day on the same time the process will be executed you can also edit the same schedule by just clicking on edit go to the another option like weekly if you want to run your project only on weekly basis like only on Monday or only on Tuesday Thursday Friday let's suppose you have a process which should only run on Friday night or Friday morning before coming to the office it could be the process like you have any process which should run on only weekly basis only one day or only like two days three days like that you can you we have the multiple selection option we can select here you can set the time like if you want to run the process on only in the morning 10 30 then you can write here 10 so it takes here you can consider only 24 hours format so you'll have to write here if it is am then it, it will be only 10 30 and if it is uh, the pm then you have to write here 22 so it will consider the 10 30 pm so if you want to run the process on the morning in the morning 10 30 then you can select and click update so next time y y this project this schedule will be triggered on saturday and sunday on 10 30 am it means in a six days this process will be this schedule will be executed and if it is not required you can remove this you can you, you have the lots of options here you can select the monthly options if you want to run this process every month on only Monday let's suppose you have a project which will run on every month on Monday only or Sunday only then you can select this features and now here we have the execution target so execution tar target means we have the all robots a specific robots and the allocate dynamically so what does that mean it means if you select the all robots so it will select all these robots to run on that time for that process 
and if you'll select the a specific robot then you can choose the uh, the robots here if you have the multiple robots then you can select if you want to run the both robots for this project then you can select both if you want to select only one then you can select this and you can update this and for the here allocate dynamically you can write the num uh, number here execute the process one time two times three times so you can enter here so it will allocate the the robots dynamically and from the action side we have the option to stop job after disable schedule at so a stop job means if you want to stop your jobs after the specific time let's suppose you have scheduled a job on a time like 10 30 and if you want to stop your jobs after 10 50 and the here the we we have the option to if you want to kill the process kill the jobs on this time then you can select this if you want to only a stop then you can select this and it has the one more feature that is disable schedule at if you don't want to disable the schedule then you can leave it if you want to disable the schedule on a specific time let's suppose you have scheduled the process to execute on only one day and after that that schedule should be disabled then you can mention the date you can select the date like after this time after this date after this time this schedule should be disabled so once we'll select this this schedules will be disabled after the specific time and now we have the the best features that is apply non-working days restriction it means you can schedule a process to not to run on the holidays like non-working days let's suppose you have we have saturday and sunday you don't want to run that process on saturday and sunday then also you can do that so let's suppose we have holiday on 15th august that is independence day so if you don't want to execute the process any process on that holidays then also you can do that using this apply non-working days restrictions so we have these options given by the ui path orchestrator so i'm going to show you how to do this you have to go to the here the settings page and click on this setting and here we are getting the general and then at last you are getting non-working days so from the general you have to select the time zone if you will not select the time zone then after setting the holidays you will not able to set the holidays so for that you have to select the time zone and then you can go to the and you can save this and go to the non-working days and let's suppose you are putting here that your holidays or non-working days is saturday and sunday so you can select this this one you can uncheck this so you have the sunday and saturday this in july month and this one also and let's suppose you have the holiday on 30 also you can select this and you can save this so at the time of scheduling the process it will restrict to run the process on these days like saturday your process will not be executed on 30 also saturday sunday th and the tuesday your process will not be executed and if you want to specify for the next month also you can select here like 15th august you have the independence day that is holiday then you can select this and by this way you can select and save if you don't have the any holidays on this day then you can again disable you can click again and save here so now from the here from the schedule page once you have selected you have specified the date for holidays and then going to the add one schedule and right here for the working days select the process and you have the time zone selected now you have to click on this so once you click on this your holidays options will be enabled the non-working days restriction will be applied here now if you select the daily it means if you want to run the process on daily basis and if you are putting the time here like on the 21 hours it means 9 3 create this so what will happen if we have set the time of 9 3 pm to run that process on this time so it is showing in a day it means 
tomorrow it will execute the process because today we marked as a holiday that is sunday that is non working day so that's why this time it will not execute the process now the next one is if you are going to click on edit here and we are getting a the advance option here so do, do you know what is the use of advance option so advance option here is showing the crone expression so crone means this is the advanced customized option to schedule a process let's suppose if you have something different type of criteria different type of uh, date time something then you can choose a advance here and from the crown expression you have to this is like something regular expression you can put the expression here and based on that your schedule will be executed so let me show you what is crown expression so you can write here crown expression here you can select the this one crown maker so this is showing crown maker is a utility which helps you to build crown expressions crown makers use quartz open a source scheduler generated expression are based on quartz crown format so from here we are getting options to generate the crown expression we can generate and copy the the expression and paste to the this advance option here so let me show you so let's suppose you want to run your process on daily basis or every one day or alternate days every two days so you can put here every two days this process will execute so you can write to generate the crown expression on what time you can select the time let's suppose you are putting 3 or 3 13 15 and you can click the generate crown expression so it will generate the crown expression here and it is showing that the next day it will run on 23 july and then 25 july then 27 july 29 july 31 july so every two days this schedule will triggered so you can just copy the crown format this crown expression copy it and paste to the this area and update this so now you can see here the every two days this process will be executed this schedule will be executed on 3:15 am time and the last is where can we check whether a job was scheduled or manually started so from the jobs page you can see here the source and from here you can go to the source all and we are getting here the list of source that is manual schedule agents so if you want to check that this process was executed by schedule or manually or by agents so you can check the schedule and you can see here this project was executed by the schedule this one by schedule this one by schedule this one by schedule. so the list of the process that was jobs that was executed by schedule if you want to select the manual it will show there was there is no process now if you click on agents there is no process let me run this process okay so this is we have executed by agent like this is the agent this is ui path robots so this is called agent so once we'll select this agent it will show here this process a few second ago this was executed executed by agent so by this way we can check the process was executed by schedule manual or agent now thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe this and if you like this video please like the press button and if you have any question please put your comments on videos thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video